Thank you. All right, so I've already got Blender running. So these pixels are being generated by a graphics adapter in Amsterdam in a virtual machine running Windows in Amsterdam. Okay, so it's not running here. If I, oh, I'm going to unplug the network, but yeah, that's, that's running in Amsterdam. Okay, just to show you it is. I'm opening a web browser on this virtual machine. And I just type in Google. Okay, now geographically it's found that I'm actually running this machine in the Netherlands. So if anyone knows their European country codes, it's come up to Google Netherlands. So this is running over there. And if I just show the blender a bit more, I just want to get some performance in. <coughs> because then I can go to my management tool. And this is now showing me certain metrics of what's happening. So for example, if I look at uh, latency, this is showing me I've got about an 18 millisecond round trip time from Amsterdam to here and back again. So that's pretty reasonable in terms of performance for Wacom tablets and also for interactivity with artists working on their applications in a workstation in the cloud. I can also look at nice things like um, frame rate. Okay, so I'm getting about 30 frames per second, but I've actually capped my workstation to run at 30. I can push this up to 60, which is reasonable. Um, I can also look at lovely things like uh, transmit bandwidth. So how much transmitting is coming out? That's the maximum. So I've got about 90 meg there running. Yeah, but the blue line is showing me exactly what's happening. This is... Uh, not very much at all, but the more pixels I send, so if I leave that running full screen, it will show me a higher graph. So this gives you the ability to measure how much a PC over IP session is using. Then you can calculate and extrapolate and decide what your network is doing.